So in implementing the home component, we have implemented here this list. So this table containing a, a list of lessons. Now, there could be other parts of the application and there will be other parts of the application where this functionality is also needed. For example, let's say a course, we want to display a list of the lessons that belong only to that course. So in that case, we would need something similar to this. We shouldn't copy paste it to that other component we should create a reusable component. Also, at this moment, it's important to create a distinction between components such as home component, which are application-specific components, also known as smart components, sometimes called controller components. Let's agree to call to this type of components smart components in the rest of the course. These type of components are inherently tied to the application itself. So they receive in the constructor dependencies that are application specific. It would be very hard to use this component in another application, for example. So what we usually do is we make the top level component of our view. We make it a smart component. We inject it its data and then we implement the component by composing it internally with what we call sometimes pure components, sometimes presentation components. There are several names for it. Let's agree on calling these components presentation components. So these are components like the table that can take as input a list of lessons without knowing where those lessons came from. If they came from the courses service, the lesson service, etc. So two types of components smart components which are application specific and presentation components which receive data as input without knowing where the data comes from. Let's refactor the home component to reflect that distinction. So let's take here this table and we're going to refactor it into a lessons list component. Let's create the component here using the CLI. So NGG. So we're going to generate the component and it will be the lessons list component. We can see the here the component that was generated. So lessons list works. And let's take a look at the lessons list component. It's the empty component generated by the Angular CLI. So what we're going to do now is we're going to take the content of this template here. So this one, we're going to take the table, the table part. This will be our lessons list component, right? So let's just copy this here to the HTML template of the lessons list component. So now what we have here is we need a variable lessons as an input for this component. Now we are not going to inject here in the lessons list component. We are not going to inject in the constructor the lesson service. Instead, what we're going to do is we are going to define an input for the component. So let's just import input. There we have it. Now lessons is an input of the component. So let's just define it as such. And there we have it. We import lesson. We are going to modify the selector of the lessons list component to be just lessons list. And we are going to apply it to the home component. So here we receive a lessons list. And what we're going to do is we are going to pass it in the lessons data. So remember, lessons is this variable here in the home component that gets assigned to when the find all lessons observable returns. We are going to take these lessons here in the home component. So this is the result of the assignment of the value that came via the observable. We are going to assign it to the lessons input of the lessons list component. Let's try this out. So we can see that if we refresh the application, we are going to get exactly the same result. Now, all of this seems to be working fine, but there is one big catch concerning the lesson class that we created, and we are going to cover it in the next lesson.